We have some new cubs over there. We have a baby standard lion as well as a baby black jaguar. But there is a problem. Both the lion and the jaguar have been a little bit constipated. We're starting, we're going, let's pour the formula in. Oh, you've gotten it, you've gotten it. We're just gonna take the bottle. I know, you gotta take the bottle. You sway them, you blow on them, they, and they just become so calm, and you almost put them in a little bit of a trance right there. We're gonna start with the little lion boy right now. Come here, little guy. And he should start going any minute now. He should. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, I'm about to go head over to ZWF Miami over to Mario's house and we have some new cubs over there. We have a baby standard lion as well as a baby black jaguar, both of which were born right at ZWF. It's absolutely amazing to have these incredible animals born right here, to be able to raise them up. It is an incredible experience nonetheless. But there is a problem. Both the lion and the jaguar have been a little bit constipated. They have not been pooping as they should, so we're gonna try to get them to poop. And it could be a little bit of a, it can be a little bit tricky to get them to poop, but we're going to try our best to get these cubs to poop. So guys, if you wanna see us try to get these jaguars to poop, you wanna see us feed them, you wanna see the whole shebang, well, you guys are in the right place. And right now, I'm gonna go change, hop in the car, and head over to Mario's, where we're going to be feeding these cubs and hopefully getting them to poop. One hour later. Guys, I just got over here to Mario's and we are getting ready to prepare the bottles for both the little lion and the little black jaguar. But before we do that, Mario got some new puppies. They are absolutely adorable. We gotta show them. We have some Caucasian mountain dogs. These guys are absolutely adorable. Look how cute this little guy is. We got this guy, which is a normal color. And then there's a little black guy over here. Hey buddy, come here. Come say hi. Come here. Hey. What's up? You can barely even see him. Hey, where are you going? There's just a million dogs over here at Mario's. There's six dogs, but these two take the show for me. These are the most adorable little puppies in the world. Look at these little guys. Guys, I think they might be cuter than Zeus, and that's saying a lot, because Zeus is adorable. Look at this little guy. You're a cute guy, and so are you. We've got our bottles. We have got our supplies. So in order to make healthy lion and jaguar food, we've got our KMR kitten milk replacement. We got it in there. So we've got that, and then we have these two little vials of goodies right here. So what we've got in here is we've got some calcium carbonate powder. This calcium carbonate powder is going to ensure that these guys are getting extra calcium to grow strong bones. So we got that, which we're gonna put in, and then we have a fast track probiotic. So we put both of these into their food. Now in order to do their food, we're just just gonna take these bottles, we're gonna put it on. The bottle is, let's zero it out. And we have zeroed the bottle out. Hannah, do you wanna do the honors of pouring it? Because whenever I actually try to film and pour formula, it just never turns out all right. I always end up spilling it. So we're not gonna have that problem today. So Hannah, we're gonna be pouring 85 grams right now. It's on kilograms right here, so. So yeah, we're gonna move that to uh, grams. All right, we're there, kilograms. Hey, is it kilograms? It, it'll go to grams. It'll, Hannah, do you not know how to use a scale? Not this one. <laughs> We're starting, we're going, let's pour the formula in. This is what we gotta do here. So we're at 45, we are halfway there. Almost we there, gotta guys. keep going, we're almost there. We're almost there, 49, come on, pour a little more. You gotta, you gotta double it up, 59, 60, 75. We got 10 more, Hannah, you're almost there. You're doing a good job. And almost we're there, at guys. 81, 81 guys. One, one, two, three. All right, stop, we're there, there we're there, we go, perfect. Guys. We got it, right there. Now that we have the exact amount of formula for this little lime, we've got to add some fast track probiotics. So we're just gonna put a little sprinkle in there right now. We're just gonna take it. We're just gonna dust a little bit in there. Let's see. Yeah, that seems to be enough just like that. That's good. And we've got some calcium carbonate. We're just gonna put a little bit in there right now. Let's kind of dust it in and we should be good. So now we're just gonna take this. We're gonna stir it with our finger just like this. And now that we got bottle number one complete and ready to go, it is time to mix up bottle number two and then we're going to go, oh, hi, how's it going? <laughs> Vanessa's here. We've got a little kangaroo kid. This guy's getting to be just so, so big. What a cute little guy, I mean. There's crazy stuff in this house. There's puppies, jaguars, lions, kangaroos, guys. You never know what you're gonna find when you walk into Mario's house. So now that we got bottle number one ready to go, complete, mixed up, it is time to make bottle number two. One minute, 37 seconds later. I've got both bottles ready to go, so we're just gonna take these bottles right now. They're in the microwave, they're ready to go. We're gonna close it up, we're gonna set them for one minute, and then we're going to heat them up. Let's see, start, and let's go. Three, two, 
one and the bottles are ready they should be nice and warm they should be heated up and ready to go let's take these bottles oh i can feel it these bottles feel warm now we're just going to take these bottles we're just going to spin them just a little bit we're going to feel them and yep these bottles right here are the perfect temperature for this lion and jaguar now guys we're here in the cub room we're going to open up guys you if you think you've seen cute animals well you probably haven't seen something this cute we're just going to open on up we're going to see who's here oh my god Gosh, look at this adorable little black jaguar right here. This little boy right here is so incredibly cute and adorable. Now, even though he's black, you can still see those rosette patterns. And then, of course, we have the little lion right here. These guys are just doing so incredibly well. Such adorable little kids right here. Oh, my gosh. I wish you guys could feel the jaguar right now. The jaguar feels just like black velvet. The lion is a little more tough, a little more coarse. But these guys right here, they're hungry. They're ready for their food. So let me go to feed these guys right now. We're actually going to take them individually outside to feed them. It's much better to take them outside. They get to soak up that vitamin. D from the sun and it's just amazing to introduce these kids to the outdoors so guys go right now and comment down below which one we should start with and again like I was telling you guys in the beginning these cubs are a little bit constipated both the lion and the jaguar have not pooped yet in about a day or two so they're a little bit constipated hopefully we'll be able to get these guys to actually poop today do you want to poop today little guy I know you want to poop today so guys let me know which one we should feed first should we feed the jaguar or the lion guys I think the lion this guy's real hungry now guys we're outside now it's time to feed this little constipated lion right now and she is hungry you can see she's sniffing around for the bottle she thinks my finger is that bottle right there but we're just gonna bring her right around this way just like that and to start her off we're just gonna take the bottle I know you got to take the bottle I know I know I know oh you've gotten it you've gotten it you've gotten it right there there you go there you go so we're bottle feeding her right now she's slowly drinking the bottle and we hold her just like this because in the wild they're gonna be fighting the other cubs are gonna be fighting for the bottle they're gonna be fighting for the nipple so we actually rub her lips so she thinks there's another cub actually coming to take the bottle now lions whenever they drink bottles they love to use their paws now we move our hands out of the way we just let her just move her paw around she's doing well this is just one adorable little lion kid right here she's doing so incredibly well <sighs> You are so adorable. Now guys, I say him, I say he, I call them all the same thing. That's just kind of what I do. Wait, you're almost done, you almost got it. Almost there, almost there, big girl, almost there. And you've drank it all, you're doing good. So now that she drank, we're not done just yet. We gotta come, we gotta burp her just a little bit. She just had her bottle, so she's definitely gonna need to be burped. So I just hold her just like this. I give her little pats right here. I can feel her little hiccups. I wish you guys could be here right now. You all could feel it. But just look at her little claws right there. She just got her claws trimmed yesterday, but look at them. Already at this age, so tiny, only two and a half weeks old. She's already got her eyes open. She's got a full set of claws and her teeth are starting to come in. They're mainly just gums right now, but you can see they're just starting to poke through right now. That is just amazing. This is why I love getting to raise these cubs right here. They're so adorable. You are just so cute. The mother lion will actually hold the cubs just like this. And when you actually hold the cub like this, you sway them, you blow on them. They think the mom is holding them in the mouth and they just become so calm and you almost put them in a little bit of a trance right there. Isn't that right, little girl? Isn't that right? Well, you're in a trance. This little lion girl has had her meal. She is ready to go back inside. And guys, now that she ate, we're going to put this little constipated lion away. We're going to bring the little black jaguar out. We're going to feed him. And then we're going to try to get both of these cats to poop. Now, guys, we've got the little jaguar out here right now. The little black jaguar. Now, if you come and look, it might be hard to see, but he still has those rosette spots just as the standard jaguar would. Now, we're going to take this little guy right here. We're going to get him started on the bottle. You want to get started. You just got to open him up. He's being a little bit food aggressive. You got some teeth coming in. And he is drinking. He's going right now. You don't really want to let him pull away. You're going. You're doing well. He is just an aggressive eater right there. Look at this little kid right now. You're drinking. You're doing good. You're drinking a little fast right now. So let's take a little break right there. Let's take a little break from feeding. You can swallow your food. We don't want to get too excited. Look at him. He's just crawling along here in the grass right now. But when it comes to bottle feeding, it's such a tedious process. You can actually aspirate them and hurt them very easily. You can easily kill the cubs by actually getting the milk into their lungs if you don't know how to bottle feed. Bottle feeding any cub is takes some serious skill. It takes years of practice to get it just right. And I've been doing it for a while. My sister's been doing it for a while. We've become pretty good at it. And this little guy is doing just so incredibly well. 
Come here, little guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. Come here. Drink some. Drink some. Drink some. Oh, yeah. You're bottle feeding. You're going. You're drinking. You're doing just so well. And if you come look at his blue, glossy, glazed eyes. Guys, jaguars have become one of my favorite cats. After working with a bunch, raising them, they're just so cool. They've got such a unique personality, and everyone is different. Some of them are a little more angry than others. Some of them are a little feisty. But this little guy right here has a great, calm, cool personality. He's calm and collected, and he's just doing so well. How you doing, kid? Let's give you a little bit of burp. Let's burp you just a little bit. Now, guys, look how gorgeous those rosette spots are on his head. Now, guys, I'm hoping that both him and the lion are going to poop after they have their bottles. And you are done. You've had your bottle. You're doing well. I'm hoping that these guys are going to poop, guys. Let me know down below if you think they're going to poop. We're just cruising along in the grass. Why don't you come this way, little guy? Why don't you come this way, little kid? This guy, since he is black, he's going to heat up in the sun really quick. So you can't keep the cubs out in the sun for too long just because they can overheat. But this vitamin D is essential for their development. They need to be in the sun every day for a while so they can get all the nutrition that the sun has to offer. They're doing so well. This is actually their second time ever in the grass. And just having little cubs here right now, I just love to come and sit outside, lay in the grass, and bond with these little kids. Now these two kids have eaten their breakfast and now it's time to poop them. This is the moment of truth to see if they're going to poop. Now each time they pee, but they have not been pooping. Now guys, it is windy, so sorry if the audio is a little bad. My hair is going crazy. We're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the little lion boy right now. Come here little guy, come here. So to poop them in the wild at this size, the mom is gonna actually be licking their butt, licking down here to see if they actually poop because they're not able to actually poop on their own yet. So we're gonna start rubbing here, right to the side, and he should start peeing. He should start going. Just any minute now, he should start peeing. And, oh, guys, it's going. I can see the pee coming out just now. Now we're just gonna rub him. Now you can see he's not annoyed with it. This is actually natural for him. So for him, after he eats, he gets stimulated, he gets the poop. He actually absolutely loves it. We're just gonna move him right here right now. We're gonna go. We're gonna see if he wants to poop. I think I hear it. I know, kid, I know, I know. We gotta do this though, we gotta do this. We gotta get you to poop and pee. This guy is not pooping or peeing, so guys, go comment down below right now if you think that this little lion is gonna poop. Now, it's fairly normal for them to go a day or two without pooping or peeing. It doesn't seem like this little lion wants to poop or pee, so we're gonna give him a little break. We're gonna try with our little jaguar friend right here. Do you wanna poop or pee? Let's see what you wanna do. Come here, kid, come here, come here. And come this way, kid, come here. Wait, wait, and oh my gosh, guys, look at it, he's peeing. He, he wasted no time to start peeing. This guy is just peeing up a storm right now. So this is what you have to do with all baby animals, whether it be a jaguar, a lion, a monkey, even a squirrel you gotta do this to. You gotta do this to all baby animals when they're young. Oh my gosh, guys, this guy is nonstop being. This is crazy. Look at the poop starting to come. It's starting to come out. Now we're just gonna wait for it. We're gonna wait, we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, we got some jaguar poop. Now this isn't the best stool in the world. He's been having some runny stool problems from what I heard. And for about two days now he hasn't pooped. Oh, that's great. That's good news. He's got some solid stool right now. This is everyday life being a zookeeper. This is what it takes. Everyone thinks it's just playing with the animals all the time, but it's really the hard, dirty work like rubbing little jaguar butts, getting them to poop. This is what it's all about, guys. So if you don't like this, then uh, being a zookeeper and owning animals is not for you. This is a crazy amount of poop. Look at that. Absolutely insane. We got a fresh paper towel here, and we're gonna bring him right on back. So we're gonna bring this guy right on back here and we're just gonna wipe him up. We're gonna see if he has to poop anymore because that was just a crazy poop, guys. I have seen a lot of cubs poop, but that was one of the craziest ones. I'm so excited that we got the little constipated jaguar to poop. It was absolutely amazing. It came out great. We've got some adorable kids now just hanging out with us after their meals. You having a good time, little guy? You having a good time? And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we actually fed the new baby ja black jaguar and lion cub, and we got at least one of these constipated cubs to poop. So guys, make sure you go right now and comment down below a prayer again for the little lion cub that she'll hopefully 
actually poop the next feeding or in the next couple minutes because we're gonna try again once we hop off and guys make sure you go right now we've got one female lion and we've got a male black jaguar so guys make sure to go right now and comment down below a name for both of them comment down below a boy name for the jaguar and a girl name for the lion and if you guys are not subscribed already you want to see these kids grow up you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises well what are you waiting for guys go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.